Okay then, so today I'm at the Days in Shrewsbury uh, at Strensum Services, so let's go and have a look. I've not stayed here before. This is what you get for £67 tonight. Okay then, so I'm in that room, 45. Just checked in, so let's go and have a look. And this is the room. So, right, straight away we've got a bit of ladder style as usual with some pillows in a bag. Is it clean? Yes it is. Happy days. Some of these unstealable hangers. Well, that's what I would think, but someone's actually stole one this time. Where's the hanger gone? Someone has stole two of the unstealable hangers. Three of them. Oh well. It is what it is. But, well this is different. So we've actually got chocolates on the bed. Happy days. What's this say? So thank you for choosing Days In. We hope you uh, enjoy your sweet treat. And then if it's not a 9 or 10, uh, please let us know. All right, okay. So, bed. Well, yeah, it's a double or king size bed. It's not bad, that. You tell this used to be a Premier Inn. That's a purple bed. All the way around on the doors, we've got purple um, like signs, if you like. So, yeah. It's definitely been a day's a premier in at some time it's in its life. And it's probably not been updated since it was a premier in. Right, so what else have we got? Well, a couple of bedside tables, but unfortunately there's no plug sockets anywhere near the bed. But what I have noticed when I just turn these on is the lamps broke, so I'm sticking some sharp thing out there, so I'll just put I'll watch that. Uh, what else have we got? Well we've got this really, really old sofa bed. I am so glad I am not sleeping on that thing because there's marks all over it, there's stains everywhere with God knows what. I think this is definitely older than me. So, uh, it is what it is. But we have got a nice full length mirror and there's an electric heater there. Now, I am in a motorway hotel so I don't expect a view but at least it's green outside and it's not cars flying past. So that's a, a bonus I suppose. So the good thing with these days in is you get free Wi-Fi and it's not like Premier Inn where you can't use it. It is really fast. Now I haven't stayed at this hotel before so I don't know what it's going to be like. But so far it doesn't look too bad. It's just a bit bloody dated. So big TV as you can see. Now you can tell they've tried to make it a bit nicer. I mean that's just a chair cover over an old chair. But, um, yeah there's quite a few stains on that as well. But it is what it is. Not uh, going to be sleeping on that chair, am I? Oh well. Right, what else we got? Well, we've got some clipper tea and some Rington's coffee, I think. Yeah, see, I even know what it is before I pull it out. Right, is the kettle clean tonight? Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Happy days. Does the hair dryer work? Uh, oh, you have to put it in. Would you believe it? <laughs> Trust the air dryer because it looks older than me. Yeah, it does. Happy days. So, air dryer works fine. Now then, bathroom. What a blast from the past this is. Jesus Christ. Uh, this is definitely going to be early 90s. Looking at this. It, I feel like I'm stepping into my grandma's bedroom. <laughs> bathroom even. Uh, yeah. Yeah, really. Really old in here. But it does for us serve a purpose, I mean everything works and there's quite a bit of like, you know, peeling wood effect panelling. But oh my god, what is that? Jesus. So that is a rusty bath. I've never had a rusty bath like that before. That is definitely one of the worst I've seen. Okay, so shower. Well, we've got a rainfall shower. That definitely needs a clean, but let's have a look if there's any pressure. I suspect there will be because it used to be a Premier Inn. Oh, I've got another loose shower head where you can't really do anything with. So let's just check it all get wet first. Well, yeah, yeah, there's loads of pressure there, and it is warm as well. But you're not going to be able to adjust that because it's just going to fall straight back down. So, it is what it is. What do I think? Well, 
Is it worth the £67 a bird? Probably not. Uh, yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you think. But I'm going to show you around the service today. I do like road chefs. I've said this before. They are much better than the welcome breaks. And there's a lot more for you to eat. Um, and just better options in general. So, yeah. Let's go and see what it's like. Okay, so I just sat on this sofa. And look at the amount of crap down there. Oh no, that's minging. There's bits of all sorts, toenails and everything in there. So yeah, definitely not the cleanest sofa, is it? Yeah. So as I'm sat on the sofa, I've just looked under the bed. <laughs> and uh, looks like we've got some rubbish from a previous guest. So what remains of a fag packet, lovely. So you can tell they're not uh, exactly hoovering properly because just around here, there's bits all over the floor. It kind of masks it a bit. There's a lot of dust on top. This carpet's definitely not been hoovered because there's bits all over it. So, yeah, it masks it because you've got these uh, little dots all over it. I think what I'm actually going to do is put my shoes back on because it's pretty bad, isn't it? Okay, so I've come to a fresh food cafe and I've got, am I going to get a fish and chips today? And this is inside the services. There's all usual McDonald's and KFC. McDonald's Costa Coffee, you've got a um, chosen noodle and a few other things but there is actually a Cornish bakery but it's currently shut. There's even a clothes shop. Uh, yeah, fancy some, something decent tonight. So you've got a clothes shop. Was open a minute ago though. W. S. Smith and a smile as well. Right then, so I've just had a really good experience so I've been down to the desk and I just told them yeah, that there's a couple of things under the bed and maybe it's not been hoovered as good and the manager was at the desk at the time absolutely brilliant lady really lovely she's decided she was going to come up and do it herself and hoover it now I've, I've complained at hotels before and people are just write it down in a book and that's that I've never had a manager come up and actually do it herself so fair play to the lady uh, really nice and friendly as well, so I just thought I'd add that. So, yeah, as run down as this place is, um, I'm pretty happy here. I've just been to the cafe, I bought some fish and chips. Where other services in the UK are you going to get fish and chips from? And I bought the voucher from reception too, so uh, you pay £7.15 and you get a £10 voucher. So, bonus, I've got fish and chips, I've got myself a little cake as well, £7.50. Yeah, I know it's run down, but I'm happy here. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. I don't want to be eating McDonald's every day, uh, KFC, Burger King, Subway, all the major brands. So it's just nice to come to a road chef, go to that cafe, and I can put, um, get fish and chips, or I can have a breakfast, a proper sit down meal. You can have it on a plate, but I've chosen to eat it in my room. So yeah, it's not a gourmet meal by any means, but Jesus, it does help. Um, I am a lorry driver, so I've said this before, I can't go to all the places where people go normally because um, I'm in a massive lorry, so yeah, it's just nice to eat decent food for once. Okay then, so it's the next morning now, and the bed was actually alright, the covers were good, but Jesus Christ, it's roasting in here. So I had the window open all night, and the fan on. Well that fan doesn't really do anything, it's just a bad design. Definitely need a different fan. Shower, shower's good. Decided against having a rusty bath. So yeah, I don't think that would have been good. I think I might have needed a tetanus afterwards. Um, only problem I've seen is this thing here. So you, you've got to pull this out to engage the shower, but you try doing that when your hands are wet. You really can't do it. Um, <coughs> bit of a nightmare really. Apart from that, it was good. Uh, like I said last night, um, I was really happy with the lady who came up and cleaned the room. I thought it was good how they actually did that. Because uh, you don't get that everywhere. Most of the places they'll just write it down and say they're sorry and that's it. But yeah, really good to see. So, um, well hopefully this place gets re refurbished like the rest of them. But let me know in the comments what you think. Would you stay here? Is it worth the money? I'm not sure about that. Okay then, so that was it for this one. Well, let me know in the comments below what you think. Or would you stay here? It's quite a big hotel this. Goes back all the way down there. It's 
not uh, not bad and you've got your services right next door with loads of options. Alright, that's it for this one.